Devin Rex for Art here. So I was doing a bit of jelly plating and I was thinking about adding some to some Happy Mail. And I was looking for some um, coloring pages to add to the Happy Mail. And I found this Christmas book that I had bought um, this Christmas. And there was lots of um, good little sayings on the opposite side of some of the um, coloring pages. It's just an activity book. So I decided to take these out to include in my happy mail and um, I decided to colorize this, some of the sayings. So I did a few of those and I'm going to um, show that now. So the first saying is life doesn't have to be perfect to be filled with joy. And I just trim it down to make it even. And I missed showing the first layer of paint I put on, which was this fluoro acrylic by Montmartre. And it's um, like a bright fluorescent um, color. I think it's the red or the pink. I think it's the red one, which is actually like a orangey color. And I'm using a placemat and I'm tracing paper to um, just lift off a lot of that paint. And then I'm adding um, some different colors. I put the saying underneath it so I would know where to keep the lightest color so you could see the printing. So we have a Liquitex Basic Primer Yellow in the middle, the Liquitex Fluorescent Pink on the right hand side, and on the left more of that Fluoro Acrylic by Montmartre, just the purple color. And I'm making sure to brayer off in between so that I don't uh, make mud, I don't mix the purple with the yellow too much. And then down we put the saying in the middle using some tracing paper so I don't get my hands dirty. Gave it a good press and I cut out a lot of the, the time so you really want to press it down well to get all that paint on there. And as I'm pulling it up I feel like the bottom's too pink, like it feels too disjointed. So I'm adding a little bit of yellow and I'm going to tone down that purpley color which sounds odd, but when you want to pull it up, you'll see it kind of looks more of a nice transition when I pull this up. So I'm just playing. I didn't really have a plan. And I like how you can see the orange from the placemat texture through there. And we're cleaning off all that yellow. I kind of like this baby wipe. And then I'm adding a bit of that pink to uh, touch up the top part where the um, paint didn't stick. So that's the thing with jelly plating, you can go back and forth. It doesn't have to be perfect the first time. And we're pulling that up, so that's better. Adding a little bit to bring some on, just to take some of that white away. And then I'm adding just some black paint. Putting a coat on there. And then another placemat, a different placemat, and using tracing paper to lift up the paint in between. So we don't have like a solid black uh, color. And uh, the thing with the tracing paper is you can really get in there and lift up that paint. And then I'm just using this to create a border along the edges of the saying. Like a little frame. And I didn't measure, I don't have like precise borders, but it doesn't really matter. And then I will use some other uh, paint to lift up what's left there. I didn't show that here, but it makes a nice background for something else. And here I missed a little bit at the top again, so I'm just adding a bit more. And highlighting the uh, writing in a black pit pen. So you have to be careful not to use like regular brush pen or felt pens on um, acrylic because it'll wreck your pen. I think ballpoint works pretty good. Um, pit pens, which is like an India ink, doesn't seem to harm that. And I chose black to um, make the word stand out because it went nicely with the border. And I thought it needed a little extra something something, so I just used a stencil to trace a flower and then I put in some of that fluorescent pink from the Liquitex and didn't think it was bright enough. So I'm adding a bit of white and then I'll add a bit of pink again just to um, make it brighter. And just with a sponge, just putting a little bit of paint on at a time. And a bit more pink, really wanted it bright, I guess. 
and you can see a bit of the white through uh, the edges so I just used a pit pen once it was dry don't use it on the wet paint but uh, once it was dry I just outlined it with the black and the orange uh, the middle is still kind of orangey so I put some white dots and then covered those white dots with some yellow stickles to give it a little bit of bling so there's the finished saying life doesn't have to be perfect to be filled with joy and how true is that I like how you can see a little bit of the first placemat pattern peeking through. Uh, this next one we're using a color shift uh, purple flash and I missed uh, recording it so i just showing the colors I used. I used the purple flash and that placemat and um, some tissue paper this time to pick up in between. And again because I want the printing to show through I'm using a translucent paint. This time I'm using the Arteza Iridescent uh, Glowing Peach. And I thought it'd be just a subtle contrast with that purple flash and I'm just putting a thin layer and we'll place down our saying and this saying is if you want others to be happy practice compassion if you want to be happy practice compassion so that was the Dalai Lama that said that and um, wise wise fellow and here we're putting on some dioxazine purple Liquitex basics and another placemat uh, I think we used this one in the first one and just the tissue paper to pick up uh, the paint from the spaces between that intricate pattern and press 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 again I did uh, speed this up obviously and I did cut out some drying time so you want things to dry between layers and here I'm just picking up as much as I can making sure it's drying to do that around the edges so because I let that dry I need wet paint to pick it up to make the frame so I'm going back to this fluorescent pink color it's just a bright bright happy color and pressing that on the edges I like that uh, cat on the other side you can still color it um, maybe I stick this in a journal and tip it in and color the cat Just like the other one, I'm just putting a frame around the saying, and this time I'm using some gel pens to uh, go over the saying. These are a nice sparkly gel pen. And just tracing the letters. And I thought I'd highlight some of the words with like a different color. So happy, compassion, you, kind of put those in a different color just to make them stand out because it's important to you know practice compassion to help others be happy but really you need to be compassionate to yourself too so so there's our happy little page and I like the, again I like the uh, patterns from the placemats and I'm emphasizing the word you all right so third and uh, last is this one and I'm using more of these Montmartre uh, fluorescent acrylics doing more of like a rainbow type of style. These were just inexpensive paints I found at uh, my home set store. I often find uh, really well priced uh, art supplies there and these are all very um, transparent so I don't worry that the saying's not going to show through. And the saying for this one is, it's not happiness that brings gratitude, it's gratitude that brings happiness. So we have our happy little rainbow here. I'm just gonna take off a little bit of the excess. And again, I'm braying in between so I don't mix up the colors too much. Putting down the piece of paper. And then we're gonna pull that up. And I'm really happy with that. I think that's quite pretty. Looks like I decided to add a little bit of a brighter pink at the top using the Liquitex Basic, just to make it more of a gradient, I think is what I was thinking. And a bit more purple. So I used to go back to that color shift purple to make the bottom stand out a bit more. So there we have our little rainbow of happiness.
and I'm going to pick it up with the Playful Pink from Arteza Iridescence. And I chose this because I needed, a, you know, I just wanted a bit more glitter, but I didn't want to dull the colors. And this has just a very light pink sheen. And filling in the words with a nice bold black ink. And this looks like an anonymous quote. And for the border, I decided to stencil on some black and I got this cheap um, stencil just from the dollar store, I think it was. And just taping off where I want the border to be. And using one of those uh, makeup brushes. Again, you can buy fancy ones. The one I got, again, it's just from the dollar store and it cleans up quite easy. And just adding this sort of animal type print motif. I was getting a bit of some of the black on the saying, so I put some tracing or paper towel in the middle just to protect it. And where there was gaps, I just went in and added a bit more. So we're gonna go a little bit crazy on this one. We're gonna add more, more, and more. So let's add some sparkle. So I'm gonna use this Glitz Glitter Gel by Gina K Designs. And it's um, glitter, but it's within a gel, so it doesn't get everywhere, which I like. So we're using a little bit of the purple, make some purple stars, and just spread it thinly. And it does take a while to dry, so definitely if you get this product, make sure it's the last step you do, or just make sure you have lots of drying time in between. And wipe it off your stencil, because it will, it's got like a, the glit gel is like a glue, so. Uh, I would recommend washing your stencils immediately. And here I'm just trying to figure out what position to put the rest of the stars. And I'm thinking I should really put another star up there because it should be an odd number, but I don't want to wait for that her to dry so I just leave it and let's do a happy little unicorn at the bottom I don't usually do a lot of unicorn things in my art but this glitter rainbow just screamed out for unicorn and I decided to use a turquoise And like I said, this takes a while to dry, so I'm just fixing a few little edges I got under the stencil. And here's the finished, the finished one. Don't know if you can see the sparkle. There you can see the sparkle a little bit. So here's my completed pages, and I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. They're kind of shiny, they're kind of grungy, they're kind of bright and hopefully they're a little bit inspirational. So I hope everybody um, has a great day and thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.